Hey everybody, it's JT from VapeStars.net here. Just a really quick once over um, over a device that until recently really wasn't available to the average consumer, even the average vapor um, that uses mechanical mods and, and rebuilds atomizers on their own. Really cool. Um, they've become available a lot of times very hard to get um, but some vendors and manufacturers are noticing that and starting to step up production and they're not as expensive and a lot easier to find anyway that's a voltmeter okay this particular model is is really nice in my opinion you've got a male 510 connection at the bottom female 510 at the top nice slick design um, and you can't tell because this is all black or tinted, but you know, on one side of it, you have a screen and a really nice blue LED light up. Um, the number is very easy to read, and especially for a reviewer, picks up on camera extremely well. Beautiful. Some of the other ones with the red numbers just just didn't quite cut it. Speaking of other ones, I have another model that I had before, um, and this model works works pretty well. You know, don't get me wrong, but you know, just at a glance, you can see that uh, you know it's kind of just pieced together. Basically, it does the same thing, but a lot more could go wrong with with use um, with something like this with circuit boards exposed and. Things like that. And I guess that's a circuit board. It is what it is. I really like this model. Um, it's a lot more durable. It's sleek. It looks good. And it works well. And again, the screen is a lot better with this blue LED. So basically, why anybody should be interested in this. And I'm very interested in it uh, as a mod reviewer and trying to get an idea of how good and efficient these mods are. Your battery, this for instance, fully charged, will put out 4.3 volts. Okay? So that's giving off 4.3 on a full charge. Now obviously, you can't just hook an atomizer directly to a battery. Okay? There has to be a kind of delivery system and that's where your mechanical mod comes into play because of that you're gonna lose some of this 4.3 okay because it is in another device and the voltage from here has to travel through a contact point before it gets to your atomizer to your coils you're gonna lose some you're gonna lose some of that voltage and that's called voltage drop um, you're just you're just gonna lose some of it so the idea with a voltmeter is to determine how much voltage drop uh, you get with a particular mod and a particular atomizer. And, uh, you know, for me, it's which mods are more efficient than others. So that's basically the idea. That's why someone would want a voltmeter like this. Um, and honestly, when you're rebuilding coils... It's nice to know exactly the voltage that your coils are going to get because, as I said, um, these are called 3.7 volt batteries, but they do not always give off 3.7 at a full charge 4.3, and it dips, and it dips, and it dips, and it's time for a recharge. So it's fairly important to, to have that information, to, to have a device that will help you determine that. So basically, a, a quick test... To determine fresh battery this is a m16 brass clone just for purpose of this video voltmeter is attached fresh battery that battery has 4.3 volts by the time it gets put out we're losing 0.9 volts okay not bad that's not much at all so what you want to do to test and I want to kind of take a break real quick. I use a 2.8 ohm cardamizer for my test. Okay. 
2.8 ohms. I use that as a standard to give me a, you know, just a baseline to run off of. The uh, important to, to mention here, I think, the lower the resistance of your atomizer, of your coils, um, the higher the voltage drop will be. Sub-ohm coils increase voltage drop noticeably. Um, but for the sake of a test, a standard to high resistance atomizer, I think is perfect. And it suits my needs just perfectly. So simply, we know we had 4.21. So you would write that number down, okay? You attach your atomizer, cardamizer, whatever. And what we're going to do is we're going to fire it again. Let it run just for a second or two. I'm going to run three times and take the average. I'm going to call that 3.3, 3.93 rather. Fire it again. 3.94. three point nine okay so what you do is you average those out say we got a three point nine okay and really quick you would take your first number four point two one and subtract three point nine boom and in my experience with this mod we're right on this mod with this quick test I would say this mod has a voltage drop of point three one pretty efficient. No mod is going to be 100% efficient. Um, it's all about conductivity. So that's pretty good. That is a quick test. That is a test that your average vapor looking for a voltmeter will want to run to establish how efficient that mod is. Basically that's it. I really like this model. It's durable. It looks good. Uh, the screen is very visible sharp little ohm meter um, and that's it I've got videos coming up I will start testing all of my mods all of the mods that I review um, as I review them I will mention the voltage drop that I got like I said this is a very basic test but it's something everyone can do to get an idea of how efficient their mods are anyway that's it thanks everybody we'll see you next time